do you talk to someone who says they were just looking online or they're not interested and you don't know where to go from there? You don't know, okay, do I just trash them and leave them alone? Do I drip them? I don't want to bug them further because they already told me they're not interested or they were just looking or they just clicked on an ad. I have some suggestions for you that you may or may not find helpful. So the first thing you want to do is one, don't trash them. Keep them in your database. It's up to your discretion on how they reacted to the phone call. I would definitely say if someone were rude or really mean or upset and you weren't able to overcome that, then that would be a place to trash them, especially if they cursed at you. Trash them or move them to a contact stage and follow a boss if, if you use our setup in our stages. But if they weren't rude and they just said, I was just looking, I'm not gonna be ready for a very long time, then I wouldn't recommend trashing them and just discarding them and saying, I need to move on and find ready now clients. Because as the saying goes, there is money in the follow-up. And a lot of times when agents have given up, the agents that keep persisting and keep trying and keep in touch with people who aren't ready are the ones that end up winning and getting that ROI from that lead. So what I recommend doing is putting that lead in some type of long-term nurture stage. If you're a client of KTS, that would be the cold stage. Or if you use the Zillow stages, that would be the nurture stage. Now, what I don't recommend doing is I don't recommend putting them on an action plan. So if you use our automations, you'll want to ensure that when you change the stage, you go ahead and proactively pause the action plan. It's called KTS Nurture Buyer or KTS Nurture Seller, something like that. Go ahead and pause that so that the lead does not receive the first initial email, which implies that they indicated in some capacity they were interested in buying or selling when in fact they said they were not interested or they're just looking. So first change the stage, don't trust them. Two, use a tool to help you retarget the lead online. Continued repetition of seeing your branding online is what will win, especially with helpful educational content. Not always just like buy with me, sell with me, but educational content, information about the area and the community, helpful home buying tips, helpful home selling tips, seeing your ads online gives the client brand recognition and gives the client an idea that you are the expert in their marketplace. So some popular tools people use are Ylopo, but another tool I'm a huge fan of is Street Text. Even though I'm not a real estate agent, I use it for my business. And what I love about it is not only the lead generation ads you can run, but also the retargeting ads. So although I'm not a real estate agent, I'm gonna show you how I use it. So in Street Text, they give you so many great templates you can use, or you can create your own custom ad. So not only does Street Text give you templates with proven statistics, you can sort by best cost per lead statistics of other users that use Street Text or best cost per click, but it also saves you so much time than having to set up the, the ads in Facebook directly. And you can, you can change this to only show remarketing ad ideas. So this is where educational content comes in. They have pre-created these PDF guides where people can interact and re-engage. And what's nice is they're ready to go. And Street Text oftentimes recommends you don't change the verbiage. The statistics of why these ads perform so well is because of the way that they are worded and the way that the graphic looks. So it could be an educational content, but then changing it to list of homes for sale. So kind of alternating between them. And in Facebook, if you were to do this natively in Facebook, you would have to remember to turn off an ad and now turn on this one. Otherwise, a common mistake people make is they say, okay, great, I'll use this ad, six questions to ask before selling your house. And you have that on, but you never change it. You have that ad running for a month, two months, three months, and then you say, well, this ad isn't working. This is a waste of my time. Well, one, it's really hard to track ROI with retargeting. You can't say directly a lot of times, I converted this lead because they saw this ad. But oftentimes it's because of something called ad fatigue, where people just see the same ad all the time. They just become numb to it and they scroll past it. There's only so many times someone can see six questions to ask before selling your house, before they say, I've seen that ad before, just scroll down. And now you're wasting money. So what's nice about street text is to say, okay, well, I don't want to 
to trigger ad fatigue, but I also don't have the time and energy just to remember to turn off an ad and turn on another one. And it's especially difficult to search for ads on the Facebook ads manager. I personally cannot stand it. So what's really cool about street text is once you create an ad, you can create what's called ad bundles. And so I'll show you what that looks like for me, even though my ad bundles will be different than you. So you can create ad bundles where street text will automatically rotate what ads are running. And you can have as many ads as you want. I have a total of 31 ads that rotate once a day so that people don't get ad fatigue and I'm continually adding to these ads. And I try to alternate it between a testimonial, educational content and branding and a call to action. So I've got some testimonials here, branding, call to action, call to action, testimonial, call to action, call to action, testimonial, call to action, video testimonial, graphic testimonial, and alternating so that it's different things at different times, um, and they aren't just seeing like testimonial after testimonial after testimonial, but they also aren't seeing educational content, educational content, and they also aren't just seeing work with me, buy with me, sell with me, work with me, buy with me, sell with me, I'm the best. It's alternating content so that people don't get ad fatigue from the same types of ad over and over again. So the way ad bundles work is you can set them to run uh, once a day, which is what I do, or you can say run it for a week, um, I can't remember what the other options are. And so today it's running uh, this ad, tomorrow it will run that one. And once it gets to the end of this uh, 31, then it will go back to the top and restart again. And you can um, typically, unless you have a very large database, Street Text recommends doing it $1 a day. So I love that. I love the ad bundles. I have one for retargeting and I have one for um, top of funnel ads as well, which are uh, all call to actions. And what I love about street text as well is you can track your stats here. My cost per lead is a bit higher than what yours will be. I'm not a real estate agent. And so I have a very niche market. And so as a result, my cost per lead is much higher than what most real estate agents see. Most real estate agents see around like a dollar a lead, but mine's more expensive. But what's really cool is you can not only target custom audiences, but street text, I was trying to show my audience here, so I'm targeting like retargeting from Facebook and my website, uh, people who have looked at videos, lookalike audience, but also if you'll see in the middle, there's ST dash lead stage, ST dash hot stage. So what street text has the ability to do is in real time, retarget specific stages and follow a boss. And so you can see here, I've got lead stage, hot stage, one stage. And as soon as someone enters a stage or exits a stage, Street text also updates that. So that's another feature I love that I haven't seen elsewhere where street text has a direct integration with your follow-up boss account and your follow-up boss stages. So you can get really creative with it and say, I want to show people in this stage, this ad, and this stage in this ad. So I love that about street text. The other thing I recommend using is a tool like Real Scout. I'm a huge fan of Real Scout and their auto nurture tool. If someone didn't say they were interested and they were just looking, instead of sending them an email drip where it's a little bit too aggressive, not to say that email drips are aggressive, but it's too much for someone in that scenario, using a tool like Real Scout and their auto nurture feature is a much more, I wouldn't say passive, but a much more gentler way to stay in touch with them in, through their email account. And Real Scout, just a heads up, is only available in the US, but Street Text is available in both US and Canada. They actually originated in Canada. Uh, but for now, as of recording this video, Real Scout's just in the US. What I love about their auto nurture tool is a little bit more gentler than an email drip where it uh, auto nurtures the sellers a specific way, auto nurtures buyers, and it auto nurtures someone if it doesn't know if they're a buyer or seller. So maybe you have, for example, a completely off topic from this video, maybe you have a large number of leads that are older and you never reached them and you don't even know if they're a buyer, if they're a seller or anything at all, then auto nurture will send them a market activity report. And once the lead engages, then you can use smart lists and follow up boss to track that activity to prompt you to call because of their motivation again. Once they have that activity, you can use the tags that Real Scout pushes over to follow up boss to trigger automations, which is what we do for our clients. So 
For example, Real Scout will send an automated home valuation report to anyone that you add to Real Scout that has a property address in their profile. And once they look at that home valuation, that pushes a tag to follow up boss, and that tag triggers an automation that automatically drips them because of their mo potential motivation to try to engage them, and that's an eight-month drip. If they look at the market activity report, that triggers a tag, which starts a drip for eight months as well. If they look at properties online because they're a buyer from that auto nurture drip, we trigger an automation as well and push them to a smart list. We push all of those people to a smart list. If someone requests a custom report on one of those pages, that triggers a tag, which triggers an automation, which triggers them to go to a smart list. If they, if the buyer sends a message on the website, that triggers a tag to follow a boss, that triggers an automation, that triggers a smart list. So you can kind of see a trend here of you want to use all of these tools to your advantage, especially street text and integration, triggering people to show up in smart lists. If they look at properties on your website, that triggers an automation, but then also Real Scout that triggers several different automations. You can do it yourself or that's what we do for you. So to summarize, I recommend don't trash a lead if they were not rude or cursing at you or you want nothing to do with the person, but don't trigger a more traditional email drip. Instead, retarget to them online through a tool like Street Text. Use the auto nurture tool in Real Scout. Use smart lists and automations and tags to trigger automated messages to the lead based on the behavior. Use smart lists to notify you of motivated leads. Pick up the phone and call them and have a conversation with them because they're showing motivation. So if you're not familiar with Street Text or Real Scout, below this video are links to learn more. Full discretion, they are affiliate links, but I wouldn't recommend them unless I really liked them. I'm a personal user, a user of Street Text because non-real estate agents can use Street Text. Real Scout is specific only to the real estate industry. Otherwise, I would love to use something like that for my business. So highly recommend both of those companies. And of course, I always highly recommend Follow Up Boss.